Now I ain't saying she a gold digger. But she ain't messing with no broke hollow graphic foil on your nails. <laughs> Hey, hey, hollow everyone, it's me, Christine, again, and today I've got some bomb ass gold hollow nails. Yes, hollow, yes, glowing, yes. I also have some very important news. I'm on Twitter. I'm a bird. You should follow me there. I know I'm really late to the Twitter party, but you should tweet me and I'll tweet Twitter you back. Uh -huh. I'm also on Snapchat, have been for a few months. I'm pretty much an expert at using all the filters there, so you should also follow me there. Yes, join the Snap fam. First off, it's base coat time. Other nail artists be like, add a regular base coat to make your nail polish last. Simply and illogical be like, add a peel off base because we're gonna peel that motherfucker off your nails. Next up, make your nails black. I'm still using my favorite black from what's the best black polish drugstore edition, but I am running out. The bottle is like half empty or half full, depends on how you look at it. Either way, I may just continue my search for the best black again. So let me know down in the comments if you have a suggestion for one I haven't tried yet. Ooh, green multi-chrome. Oh, I think I'm multi-chrome sexual right now. So you can stare at this multi-chrome porn that I ended up putting on my nail, but in the end, I didn't really need it at all. So this step is completely unnecessary but I wanted to show you the porn anyways. So pretty though, rawr, I'm a reptile. Next up is the gold hollow foil, yes. I got this super hollow gold foil along with the foil glue from Bundle Monster. I put a link down below, it's in a kit of different foils. And don't forget, you can use my code SIMPLY for 10% off. Get some hollow and save some money, then buy some more hollow with that money you just saved. Life cycles of a hollow sexual. So after applying one thin coat of foil glue, you just gotta let it dry until it's a little tacky. You'll know it's completely dry when it doesn't look blue anymore and it just looks clear. Then you just cut up a little piece of foil and press the foil down on the nail with the pattern colored side up. If you do it the other way, it's not gonna work. I fully admit I did that my first time and I was like, what the f am I doing wrong? See, I teach you life skills on this channel. You're welcome. When it's all pressed firmly on the nail, you're gonna rip it off like a band-aid. If only band-aids were hollow. Now originally I thought that there was no way this gold foil was going to completely cover my nail and that's why I painted the green multi-chrome underneath because I thought you'd see like lines of it. But yeah, everything underneath this was pretty much unnecessary. <laughs> Who cares? Look at the hollow. Honestly, if you're feeling lazy, just slapping on some hollow foil like this is super easy to do and everyone will be amazed at your nails and ask where you got them done. And then you'll be like, bitch, I do my own nails. But wait, if I put a top coat on this, will it kill my hollow vibe? Cause I ain't gonna let that happen. And now it's time to do some tests in Simply Neological's Nail Experimentation Lab. First, I'm applying foil glue on a white piece of paper. Very pristine environment we require in this laboratory. Transfer the foil onto the paper. Peel off the foil. Now add more, cause that didn't really work. Ooh, pretty shiny rainbow colors, yes. Last time around, some of you guys suggested that I try out Picture Polish's foil top coat. Why didn't I think of that earlier? I don't know. And you can sort of see a tiny bit of clouding, but I'm not really sure. Let's let it dry and try another experiment. Peel off base coat. Yes, sounds weird, I know. Again, maybe a tiny bit of clouding, but it's really hard to tell. So I let them dry a little bit, and I think it's pretty clear that both of them did cloud the foil just a little bit. Maybe the Picture Polish one clouds the foil a little little bit less. But let's add a regular quick dry top coat because we know how shitty that is and then we can compare. Yeah, so the regular quick dry taco ate my hollow. I still think having no top coat on the foil is best and leaves it the most hollow, but you gotta put some kind of top coat on it or else all the foil is gonna flake off. I'll just go with the picture polish one because it's called a foil top coat and the peel off base coat one, I'm not really sure how that's gonna work as a top coat. Maybe it will just peel off the top of my nail. Does that make any sense? I don't know. Before I did the tests, I was an idiot and put a regular quick dry top coat on one side of my pinky and yeah, well, you can see it's garbage. And ooh, we haven't discussed quite yet. What's on my other hand? It's a pretty non-traditional, simply illogical color, I admit, but I was kind of feeling some happy springtime color 
colors, okay? This is also a picture polish, polish, a picture polish, polish. Oh my god. It was designed in collaboration with Kelly Marissa. You guys should go check her out on YouTube. She does some pretty awesome nail art tutorials. And I'm just gonna go ahead and finish top coating my nails with the foil top coat. I also just wanted to talk for a minute about how I've been doing some kind of stupid videos lately. Yes, yes I have. Some of you guys are actually scared that I was turning into a makeup channel. Have you never heard the sarcasm in my voice? But no, silly, I'm not turning it into an actual makeup channel. And even though I like to throw in some punny videos sometimes, I'm not deviating too far from nails, so don't worry. I'm just having a little fun, okay? And it looks like there's a lot of you who actually enjoy this random fun that I have on this channel. I find that I get quite a lot of comments from you guys saying that you don't even do your nails or you don't like nails and you still watch my weird shit. This is all anecdotal, of course. So how about we gather some empirical evidence and see if that statement is still supported? If you didn't know, I'm a data nerd. That's what I do in my regular full-time conventional office job. So let's do a quick survey. It should have popped up on YouTube right about now, so you can click that little info card thing and answer the question. I will share the results on Twitter, because now I have it, and I will use it. I will. So make sure you vote. Make your voice heard. Now let's make my nails into cats. Next, I'm going to freehand paint weird, I know, right? Some cat eye shapes onto my nails. I got this idea from Nails by Cambria on Instagram. Who got this idea from KRV Nails on Instagram? Thank you to my fellow crazy cat ladies for inspiring me. Despite being a self-professed uh, not so good freehand painter, these were actually pretty easy to paint. I know, right? Weird. And then I just used a nail polish brush, of course. Cheating anywhere I can. Paint on the little eye sliver thingy. And then add a white dot with the dotting tool. I didn't know how to draw tiny evil eyes on these tiny cats, so I just dotted on some eyes. Now I added another coat of the picture polish foil top coat because I was really trying to protect the foil before adding an actual regular top coat. But then on my thumb, I added that regular quick dry top coat over the foil and it ruined it. Um, so yeah, what the hell man? Whoever said that you can put a foil top coat and then put on a regular quick dry top coat was wrong. My nail looks like a scaly reptile and not in a cute way. So never mind the regular top coat. I think I'll keep my hollow cat eyes hollow, thanks. These are so evil and badass, I love them. I wore them for like a week. I didn't find I had any early chipping with this top coat, so that was great. But then I did this. Put on makeup. Which got into my nails. For whatever reason, the baking powder wanted to bake inside of my top coat. So then I peeled them off, obviously, because they were no good for me anymore. And yeah, this time I'm not gonna play peel porn music because this peel is not worth the peel porn music. I find one of the things that makes your nails peel off super satisfyingly and perfect in one shell is when you've added a really thick, glossy top coat on top of your nails. But in this case, I didn't, so it didn't peel off in one nice, solid piece. I'm still gonna keep these peelies, though. Follow me on Twitter and Snapchat and Instagram and Facebook and Tumblr and YouTube and all the other places I have things. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching! See y'all later, bye!